Now we can see all the technology is now completed. Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Infected. And I know I said I in the last episode I was going to head over to the crocodiles and make this about the crocodiles, but I think I'm going to go get all the technology at the three outposts. Very, very first, you can see I'm hurt over here and I am out of bandages, so we do have to craft some bandages. Both my knees are broken. I got attacked by a bear and the bear tore me up. So we need to get that fixed. Okay, to craft the bandages, we do need a workbench. So I am going to build the workbench right now. We need to go grab an iron ignit. Put in the iron ignit, 10 total planks. And then we put on 10 fats to get a tallow, five tallows, 25 plant fibers, craft our bandage. Now let's get this put on to us so we can heal on up. 34 health, almost died there. It was close. It was close. So let's go ahead, get our health together, and then we'll head to the north camp. I am going to max out our health, bring some water along. I don't think I'm going to collect very many items other than the blueprints, the technologies. Let's go ahead, fill up our water canister, and then we'll head to the north outpost. Bear's coming back for some more. I hear him someplace. Oh, there he is. <laughs> run away, run away. Chicken! No, I just don't want to mess with the bear right now. I'll let him be. Grab a couple meats to take along with us. Next thing I'm thinking of taking along is one of these chests so that I can grab a few items like I would like to grab some electrical parts just in case if I need to build anything because it's a rarity item. Eight planks. Okay, our chest is built. Let's grab some water, get our thirst back up. And I do need to look for cucumbers on the way so I can raise my health because I don't think potatoes are going to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and take this chest and head to our first outpost. This first outpost is located here, just north of us. Okay, so I decided to bring some planks along with us too. 12 total planks, why 12? Because we can build a wooden foundation and a bed. And I can place it down just in case if it does get dark. And then I have a place to save over there. It's not really save, but sleep. Okay, we're coming up to the Zambi outpost location. Let's go ahead and set this down. I am going to get our corn, and we do have a melon. Pick these up. Just in case. Because I'm for sure going to be needing some thirst. We need some health too. I don't think I have any cucumbers. No cucumbers. Okay, so here's the location that we are at. We are at the metal sheds in the back of the northern location. 
I think our first blueprint technology is right on this table. So I don't think that everybody's is the same. And this is going to be the fridge tech. Pretty much there's three blueprints in this location. Uh oh, uh oh. Chicken hiding on the table. All right, so since we were really interrupted by the Zambi, we have three total blueprints here in this location, three in this location, four in this location. So hopefully this kind of helps you guys find out where each of the blueprints are. Most of them are on bookshelves and book the bookcases. I think one's on the table here and then there'll be one on the table in the Western section too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look around real quick, see if I can find anything good. Like electronic parts would be nice, like this here, electrical parts. We can throw that into our solar panels when we start building our solar panels. All right, over there in the metal sheds on the very farthest one is where we found the fridge technology. In here, this is where our next technology is. Again, I think this is spawns in random spots so maybe this will help you out on trying to find yours and maybe you have the same spawn places as i do but this is the advanced workbench here and i've already started to fill up our chest as i got attacked by the zambies and kept running out of health and so i ran out of bandages But our health's okay right now. Most of the Zambies are taken care of. I think I have one more that's over there that I'm kind of not messing with. Because they do take a lot of HP away if they hit you. And so I'd rather not mess with them. Let's bring out our map. So I don't know if this is going to help you because it's kind of hard to see and we can't zoom in, but this is the location of where I am at. And then I'm going to go ahead and walk you to our third location, which is going to be the oil extractor. Got a Zambi over there. It's probably the one that's been chasing me all over. So yeah, I've already searched a few of these. I haven't picked up everything yet. Let's make sure this is the right one. I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Here is that location. This one should be on the second floor on a shelf. Need bandages for sure. Second floor, here we go. Oil extractor. Now that's the three technologies that we do have in this area. I don't think I need glass. Glass is really easy to make. So I'm kind of looking for like the harder stuff, electronic parts, mechanical parts, stuff that costs the iron ignits. And it's starting to get dark right now. Let's pick up the plastic. I know we need plastic. I skipped over a bunch of plastic. Looking for bandages. Okay, let's go ahead. Put this into our chest here that we brought along. So next thing I was going to do is I am going to place this down at six material there. Hopefully I brought my axe. We did. Am I going to make a base here? Most likely not. Just pretty much like a save point. Sleeping point. Because I do plan on coming here 
and really mining out this place a little bit better. Let's build a stairs going up. There's our stairs. Now we need a bed. Well, I guess we're sleeping through the night. 6 a.m. wake up call. A little bit early. We woke up early because we were getting wet there. Okay, so I just have a couple more that I'm just going to search out because I do have a little bit more room in our chest. So there should be nothing else really exciting here other than the darkness of the room. You guys can't see nothing. So once when we get more light and maybe when I head on out, I'll show you what we looted, what we have. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so this is basically what I got from the looting. I didn't pick up everything. I didn't search really, really well. I was just running through the places. We got four electronical parts, or is that four oil cans? I'm not sure which one the four is on. Uh, mechanical parts, plastic, glass, ores, cans, fragments, oil can. This should be helpful and then biofuel. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead back to base, drop this off, and then we'll see you back at base. Okay, back at base, we got a bear right over there. Hopefully it doesn't attack. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's make sure we're prepared to head off to the next section. I do need to make sure we have spears, so we need to build one more spear just in case, because we do get overran by zombies. We do need more bandages for sure we need another chest because i'm just going to leave that chest here i'm not going to empty it okay bandages again 10 animal fats which will create the tallow then we combine 25 plant fibers with five tallows five bandages there we go now we should have more than enough i need to drop off the seeds Okay, our health looks good. Let's make sure we have enough planks. We need 12 total planks. Because I am going to build a foundation with a bed on top, just in case it gets really, really dark. Gives us a place to stay, rest up, get some health back. Okay, so the next location that we're going to go to, we're going to go head off to the east, to this location here. There should be four total technologies over there. All right, so we'll see you guys over there. Okay, here we are at the Zambi outpost, the eastern location. Let's go ahead, throw our chest down. Okay, it's not coming after us. Eat some watermelon, bring up our thirst. Now we can harvest this watermelon. Do you have a potato there? Not really interested in potatoes right now. Okay, man, this, these zombies are relentless here. Okay, so we are on the western part of the outpost. This is the first house here. We do have houses up on top, but I'm trying to show you guys where the locations are for the blueprints. If we do go into this house here, this one should have the stove tech on the first floor on a shelf. Here we go. Here is the stove tech. I am going to go search around, see what we can find. Electronical parts. Hopefully find more electrical parts. As that's the better parts and the harder one to craft. Electronic parts, copper, plastic, and cobalt. So we want to find those. Those would be good to find. Another electrical part, very nice. Check up on the second floor. Dead end. Okay, so again, second house, western side. Again, I don't know if it's random, and I think it's random spots that the technology does spawn, but maybe this will help you out if you, are, you have the same spawn as I do. If we go into this house here, which is right next to the second house. This is where the solar battery technology will be. This is on the first floor on the bookshelf. 
Then let's grab all the items in here that we need. Okay, I'm going to put items into our chest. So we're starting to run out of room. I don't need bark. I do need to make more spears, so I do need to look for some sticks right now. As killing all these zombies is not going well for me tonight. <laughs> They're relentless in these outposts now. The first version, very easy. This version, it's getting much more difficult. Let's close this up. Close that up. So now they can't get in. Let's craft our next spear because this one's about to break. Three sticks. We got the stone blade. Five total plant fibers. There we go. We got our backup. So that's the second house. Third house. This was our solar battery. Now from this location, I think the next one, which is the loom technology, is on in this house, second floor. So that should be stove tech, solar. Hopefully I am correct. Let's get this watermelon. It kind of scared me. Just kind of. There's so many zombies. I had to at least defeat defeated at least eight right now. And I think each zombie takes about a quarter of your life for your spear. So your spirit breaks really, really fast. Okay, thirst is getting down. Bring that up. Okay, let's go find our neck technology. Second floor. Here we are. The loom tech. And this is the reason why I didn't have episode two crocodile hunter. It's because I couldn't upgrade my backpack without it. I needed to find that new loom technology first so then I can upgrade my backpack as the Crocodile Hunter is going to be a really, really fast episode. At least it should be because I will show you the quick way to take out the crocodiles and it's nice when you're living right next to Crocodile Lake. Here's another guy. Relentless. I mean, they're still pretty easy to defeat. But, there's just so many of them now. And then they run through you like that, hurt you. 30, 30 life away from there. Hopefully I don't die now. Okay. Let's get our health back. Another Zambi. My spear's already at half-life. No, I don't want to play. I'm done playing. You got juked. He gone. Okay, just because I get lost really, really easily. Stove tech. Solar battery. This one's the loom technology. And then to the right of this house right here should be the wind turbine. This one's going to be on the first floor in a shelf. Need those med kits. Take the coal. Too bad we can't take the pots and pans for our stove. It would be nice. Let me pick this up. It would be nice to utilize these refrigerators here. Like if we were to build solar panels, hook up the power.
All right, here we go. Wind turbine. That was the final blueprint that we were looking for in this area. So now we should have seven total technologies. I am going to search around a little bit more and then head back to our base. Okay, I didn't really loot everything out really, really good. I just kind of went through here really, really quick. Didn't get too many items. We're about halfway full. But this really is going to be really, really helpful here. Okay, let's bring out our map. Make sure we're lined up to go back home. All right, so we'll see you back at base, and then we're gonna head to the western section to find our last three technologies. Okay, back to home base. Let's go ahead and drop off this container. Did I get some pretty good loot? I really didn't search too well at the second one. I was just kind of in a rush. I wanted to make sure that we got all the blueprint technology as the episode's already getting kind of long for me, but I'm going to go ahead and get our final one. We do have to head over to the southwestern location. This is the next zombie outpost. Okay, I did just see the time. It is 7.49 p.m., so we do need to take a nap before we actually head on out. I will probably... Go to bed early tonight, head on out early, so then we have like a full day of light that we can travel in, find all the rest of the three blueprints. Okay, 4 a.m. wake up call. I think that's a good time to get up. It is really dark out. Hopefully we don't run into any boogie monsters. All right, let's check out the map real quick. Heading down to the southwestern location down here. So we will see you when we get down there. Hopefully there'll be some light. Okay, so we are on the southern portion of the map. I think this is the first house right next to the metal sheds. We should find our neck technology on the second floor. And the be this one will be next to the bed. So I think this is the only other one that is, ooh, almost hit destroyed. The only technology that is not on a shelf other than the one that we found in the shed. Okay, let's go ahead and look around first before we actually leave. Grab some items, loop this place up. Okay, from this location here, we have a house on the right, house straight ahead. And then in this house here, should be our next technology as the bear come chasing us. Close door, close door, close door, close the door. Okay, at least he stays outside. He knows to be a good bear. This technology will be on the second floor and this will be on another bookshelf. Here we go, the lamp tech blueprint. Looks like we just need one more, the solar plan blueprint, then we've completed all the technologies. Again, let's loot this place out. Mechanical parts, I like that. This is what I really like, electrical parts. Hopefully we'll be able to build some solar panels when we get back. We'll have enough material for that. We got a floating electrical socket. Maybe there was supposed to be a house here. Let's throw everything inside. We got one other house to loot. So again, this is chemistry table.
This one should have been our lamp technology. Go straight ahead. Not this one. And it looks like it's in this building here. And this will be on the first floor on a bookshelf. And here we are, solar panel technology. We do need to take care of our health. Our thirst is down. Here we go, got our thirst back up. Now we can see all the technology is now completed. That is super awesome, as that was kind of tough to find all the technology. It took me a little bit. Ah! <laughs> he scared me. He scared me. Again, I really didn't search too well, as there's a lot of material here. But I'm ready to go back home, get ready for the next episode. As on my time, this is taking a really long time. I did die a few times. I had to reset a few times. Because these zombies are just... If you're not ready for the zombies and they double team you like that, how I was just... Two on one, they're going to destroy you. At least they destroy me. So, it's time to head back to base. We'll see you back at base. Okay, there we go. We're back at camp. Let's go ahead and check out what we got here. We got two fish oils, dry brick. I really wasn't picking up the brick. There, we, there was a bunch of brick that was available, but I really wasn't looking for it. I just picked it up, and then if you throw it back on the ground, it doesn't come back, so... Just threw it in because I did have room. Oil can, that's going to be helpful. Some empty cans to make some food. This is the mechanical parts, electrical parts. I did get a bunch of electrical parts, which is going to help. Biofuel, that's what we're going to use to fuel up our mineral extractor. Five electrical parts, very nice. Medical kit, bunch of iron ignits. Same thing, ignits here, more mechanical part, more electrical parts. That's going to be so awesome. I'm so glad that uh, we found those. And there's probably more back at the outpost. I just didn't really search. The last one, I really didn't search too well. Uh, the first one I kind of went through, but it took a lot of time. And again, I'm at like two and a half hours in recording right now. Okay, there we go. All the technology is now completed. So I really don't need to head out anymore, but I probably am just to go check out the outposts a little bit more, maybe find some better electrical parts. But for our next episode, we are gonna be doing Crocodile Hunter. I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your backpack and kill the crocodiles really, really easily. Yeah, again, with the technology, I'm not sure if it spawns in different spots. It can, hopefully. I showed you guys where the spawn places are. Maybe that'll help you out if you're trying to find any lost blueprints and you can't find them. For sure, there's three up in the northern section, three down in the western section, and then four in the eastern section. And with that, this will complete our episode for today. Thanks again for watching this infected gameplay. We will see you on the next video.